The Food Science CDE is designed to give participants the opportunity to learn more about food science, both the practical aspects of food and science and some of the technical aspects, things that they may use later in their career as a food science professional. professional and also to allow participants to have the opportunity to experience that in a team setting and to participate in team activities and learn leadership abilities, team participation, and all that wonderful stuff. identify the correct uh, aroma. Uh, the aromas are typically found in the household common uh, things like garlic, onion, uh, lavender, uh, chocolate smells. For the triangle portion of the food science competition, panelists will, panelists will be provided with three samples and they'll have to identify which of the three samples is different. And they'll have one minute to do that. Uh, typical samples may be um, milk, skim milk versus whole milk. They may be crackers based off of the differences in texture or perhaps uh, marshmallows. For the uh, flavor identification portion of the food science competition, uh, students will have one minute to identify whether or not two samples are the same or different. Uh, typically, samples might be uh, comparing whole milk versus skim milk or tap water versus distilled water. One of the components of the food science competition is the product development competition. And that is meant to, in a, again, in a team environment, to simulate real life experience. Product development is a big part of what food scientists do. And in order to do that, we ask contestants to kind of mimic the process of developing a new product. And that involves various things such as identifying what target market that product is going to be sold to, some of the physical characteristics, how long do you expect the shelf life to be, uh, what kind of packaging do you intend to put it into, what are the nutritional properties likely to be, what are some of the food safety considerations involved in that product, does it have to be kept refrigerated, uh, can it sit out at room temperature, those sorts of things will ask you to go through that entire process to think through that. Again, in a team uh, situation, everyone will participate, everyone will be required to participate, and develop this new product for us. So once the students are done with the practicum portion, they then transition to the product development, where they're given a different scenario, and the team members are able to talk amongst themselves and decide what ingredients would best suit their scenario. For instance, last year's scenario was aimed towards a high-protein trail mix for teenagers and they're given different ingredients to fit their scenario. For instance, granola or cranberries. As part of the product development competition, you will be uh, required to put together a nutritional label for your product. Uh, that typically will include information such as calories, uh, total fat, carbohydrates, protein, sodium, and that sort of information. Um, as part of the competition, we will give you reference materials to base your calculations off of to make sure that your information is as accurate as possible. Part of the product development competition involves thinking about the technology that you might use to produce your food product. What kind of equipment are you going to need? Are there any special handling or safety concerns associated with that? So we'll ask you to think about that process. We'll also ask you to think about just general good manufacturing practices or GMPs. Uh, what kind of practices are you going to follow in the production of your product? We're also going to ask you to think about some of the safety factors and we're going to ask you to think about that in terms of what's called a HACCP plan hazard analysis critical control points. We're not going to ask you to put a full plan together, but just think about those important food safety elements and how you're going to control those as part of your new product production. You will be required to list and be aware of the allergens that are present in your product. You want to be able to list those in an ingredient statement just so that any potential consumers will be aware and be able to uh, take appropriate action. In other words, to know that I can't eat this product because it has something in it that I'm allergic to. 
and we're going to ask you um, some questions on how are you going to market your product? You know, how do you intend to uh, reach your target consumers? You know, what's going to be important to them? You know, how are you going to price it? Um, how are you going to catch their attention versus other products that are available on the market right now? As part of the, the uh, pricing information for your product, you're going to be given some information that gives you price per kilogram or price per pound for different ingredients. And so you'll be able to take that information and make some estimations um, on how much your product is going to cost. Now, you'll also need to take into account things like uh, processing costs, energy costs, uh, labor costs, to make sure that your product uh, pricing information is as accurate as possible. So the final part of the product development competition will be an oral presentation followed by a question and answer session. As part of the oral presentation, we're going to ask all of the team members to participate and give part of the presentation and part of the points that are awarded will be based on everyone's participation. And that's going to be followed up by a question and answer session where we're going to have a panel of three judges and they are going to ask you questions designed to allow you to show us that you have a basic knowledge of what you've just presented in terms of all these things that we've asked you to talk about as part of the product development process. I hope you got some idea about the Food Science CD. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Good luck.